Hello everyone, I'm coming to you today to explain why I did this film, the installation of the fuel line repair kit. Uh, it can be very dangerous, and whenever you're dealing with raw fuel, and there's a lot of it, it's about a quart that's filled up in that system by the time it gets from the fuel rail all the way back to that filter. Although there's a hole in the middle, uh, that hole is in the upper part, so there's a lot of fuel left in the lower part. So when you open up the lines, the preferred way would be with two cut. I wouldn't use anything electric. Because it's just raw gas from come pouring out on you. I would use rags or something to catch that raw fuel and get it as far away from the working site as you can. Uh, any type of spark or anything will ignite those fuel vapors and they do hang low. So if you can uh, open up windows, do whatever you can. Do it outside preferably if you can. That would be the best way to do it. But I uh, ordered the kit from Inline 2, about 98 bucks, 100 dollars or so. Give or take. It got here in about a week. Uh, it took me about three hours to do this job the right way. I removed all the original metal lines from the center of the car all the way back. So everything from there is now line on flat plastic line. So uh, this should last the life of the car. Uh, any more rust, anything that builds up back there won't have any effect on the system. So uh, let's get into it. Hello everyone, back at it again. This time I got the fuel lines repaired. Uh, took a little bit longer than I thought, approximately three hours. But I did it the right way. Just a few ways you can do it. I re-ran the lines back through the original routing that they were from the factory. So I cut the line right here, about the center of the car. The inner, the inner line is the fuel line. The outer line is the evap line. They're now plastic. And they're running all the way back through the original housing as best as I could. The biggest problem I ran into was the exhaust. The exhaust on this guy is huge compared to other Delta platforms. Probably can't see them, but they're right there above the brake line. I did put some insulating tape around everything. We go up and over the exhaust here. That's the exhaust repair. We come out here and go all the way across. To the perspective location, which is the air, not the air filter, the fuel filter. And the evap module, which is right here. Okay, these are the original lines that came off the car. As you can see, um, this is pretty much just rusted all the way through in more than one location. I just got to look at me as far as I did without having an incident. But it seems like everything from right in front of the back wheels all the way back to the fuel filter is completely rusted. But at least back in this area, it's still solid. There's a lot of meat left on that. But what the insulation was, I mean, it's paved with this. It's like this is nothing there. The insulation was put over the fuel lines, I guess, to protect them from the heat from the exhaust pipe. But um, in the long term, it, I guess it ended the, uh, the life expectancy of the fuel lines a little early. But the brake lines are coated, so they have absolutely no damage to them whatsoever. So I guess GM was thinking when it came to that. But this should have been coated also, and that probably would have been alleviated. But I guess as long as it makes it past the 36,000 mile warranty, who cares? Okay, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. The hood is just about done. From here on out, it's all cosmetic. All the mechanical is done. 
Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.